Hey, Ryan, do you have a second? Yeah, go ahead, James. Guys, this the, James knows a little bit about what's going on in Huntsville. A new tornado warning has been hey, issued. Hey, so I have friends who live in Huntsville, Alabama. They have confirmed that the tornado went over Huntsville Hospital, the main hospital in, Al er, in Huntsville. Um, I'm uncertain on if there is confirmed damage to the hospital or not. I'm working on getting that information now. I'm about 45 minutes out from Huntsville, and we'll give you more information as I get there. Okay, thank you, James. Um, so we're going to hear more about Huntsville from him. Uh, Brad Arnold's getting close to this thing. If it's producing another tornado, Brad Arnold's going to be on it here shortly. So we're going to keep him up. <clears throat> okay, so you, you guys definitely did hear that thunder. Okay, cool. I have another update for you whenever you're ready. Go ahead, James. So I've just received confirmation that it went over the hospital, but it did not hit the hospital. No damage has been done to the hospital. Okay, thank you, James. Uh, so far, I haven't heard any any sort of um, a confirmation about a really significant um, uh, you know in any sort of significant damage yet but I'm sure that that's coming I mean we saw the debris ball on uh, radar there so um, we're just gonna wait for that information to come in and uh, hopefully continue to stay in our safe spots here in uh, once again paint rock and Garth I think our power just flickered. Uh oh. A new tornado warning has been issued. We got a new tornado warning in Alabama and Tennessee. Let's go look at that. Ryan, we just drove the circulation of it. Um, it is, it's, it's, it's not on the ground. It's definitely a funnel. Um, quite a ways in the air, though. Uh, do have very, very strong RFD winds with it. It does look like it may be trying to recycle. Okay, thank you, Brad. Um, okay, uh, James, I think, was trying to say something. But it, was, it wasn't coming through. Oh, he sent me a video. Or an image? I don't know. Hold on. A new tornado warning has been issued. I don't know how to open that. Okay, uh, I've got to cover some of these warnings here. I'm, uh, James is trying to send me a, a picture or something. I, I'm going to show that to you here in a moment. Uh, if you don't know who James is, that's who's trying to hit, keep us updated on what's going on down there in Huntsville. Uh, we got a new tornado warning over here in Sherwood, Tennessee. A new tornado warning has okay. been issued. Um, unfortunately, we just got a new tornado warning for Huntsville, Alabama. Again, uh, we got another storm coming down towards Huntsville. Alabama right now um, and unfortunately Huntsville you are under a tornado warning again tornado warning for Capshaw Oakland Madison and Huntsville Alabama go ahead Andy hey Ryan I just about bet that this um, cell in Georgia to the southeast of Lafayette or and Mount Carmel here Again, I'm not sure about the pronunciation of Lafayette or Lafayette in, in Georgia here, but I think that we'll probably see a debris signature on the next scan with that a tight velocity couple. A new tornado warning has been issued. So 
Uh, if that shows up, then uh, that's the reason why, and we'll we'll have a confirmed warning for that one. All right. Thank you, uh, Andy. Um, let's go back over here to Georgia. Um, wow. <clears throat> yeah, this looks like another significant uh, tornado maybe uh, coming up there towards Villanau, Rio, and Mill Creek. Um, radar indicated tornado warning, uh, but we need you to uh, take shelter now in Villanau, all the way over towards Phelps as well. Phelps in uh, Georgia. This is in North Georgia here. Uh, Chattanooga, you had your first round of heavy rain and some hail go through. We got another round coming in. I think that Chattanooga actually should start becoming a little concerned about a flash flood of threat as well. Speaking of a flash flood threat, I got to go check on our um, situation up here in northern Tennessee, north of Nashville, between Springfield and Westmoreland. We still have a flash flood emergency ongoing, and we have new downpours. Um, kind of just sitting over the area. This is what I was concerned about earlier today. Once again, y'all, uh, flash flooding a lot of times kills more people than tornadoes in situations like this. Uh, so I just want to make sure we're letting everybody know the rain is coming back and it's not stopping anytime soon. If you had water rising uh, near you earlier, maybe it started to go down. Don't let your guard down. It's going to rise again. It's going to rise even quicker this time because the ground is super saturated. Uh, you might have to ha make an emergency evacuation to get to higher ground if you live in a flood-prone area. And even if Brian, you we're don't live into it now. in a flood-prone area, doesn't appear to be intensified again. Even if you don't live in a flood-prone area, this might be the first time it ever floods in your area. Back here in Kentucky, uh, we got a new tornado warning for Bardwell. Uh, this is starting back here in Missouri near East Prairie. Um, Good-looking supercell here. We'll see what happens with it as it comes into Kentucky. And now Carbondale, Illinois. You guys are also under a tornado warning. Uh, Grand Tower, Panoma, Murfreesboro, Carbondale. Take shelter now. Let's go back to Brad Arnold's storm, the one that just came out of Huntsville. He says it looks like it's trying to do something again um, as he's near Paint Rock, uh, Gurley, and Garth, you guys are still under a tornado warning. Take shelter immediately. Huntsville also needs to take shelter again uh, because a new tornado warning was just issued for you. Also, Athens, Oakdale, Fairmount, East Limestone, Capshaw, Chickshaw, Estates, Indian Hills, and Brandontown. You guys all need to be taking shelter over here near Huntsville. 